Welcome to another lesson from Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Illicit Affairs. So as always, if this video helps you, please hit the like button. It helps my channel more than you know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. And subscribe for more lessons from this album. Enjoy! So for this song, I'm going to place a capo on the first fret, and it starts on an A major chord. So you're going to bar the D, G, and B strings on the second fret with your pointer finger, and you're going to finger pick the A string, D string, G string, A string, uh, G string, D string, A string, and B string at the same time. D string, uh, G string, A string, G string, D string. Then you're going to place your thumb on the second fret of the low E string, and you're going to do the same pattern except with the root on the low E string instead of the A string. Then you're going to place your pinky on the 5th fret of the A string and you're going to do the same pattern we did on the A major chord. Twice. Then you're going to play you're going to lift your pinky and place your ring finger on the 4th fret of the A string and you're going to bar the G and B strings on the second fret with your pointer finger, and you're going to do the same finger picking pattern that we did on the A major chord again. Then to an E major chord. So you're going to place your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, your ring finger on the second fret of the D string, and your pointer finger on the first fret of the G string, and you're going to do the same finger picking pattern uh, that we did for the second chord. And all put together, it sounds like this. Now the chorus. Uh, the chorus is made up of four chords, the first of which is a C-sharp minor flat 6. So you're just going to bar the D, G, and B strings on the second fret with your pointer finger, and you're going to place your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and you're going to do the same finger picking pattern that we did for the A major chord during the verse. Next is a D major 7 sus 2, so you're just going to lift your ring finger and place your pinky finger on the 5th fret of the A string and do the same finger picking pattern again. Next is an E major chord, which we already learned, uh, and you're going to do the same finger picking pattern that we did during the verse for the E major chord. Uh, and then you're going to do it again. Then you're going to do that whole first part of the chord progression uh, a second time. And then to an A major chord. And you're going to do the same finger picking pattern that you, we did for the A major chord before. Together, it sounds like this. So the last part you need to know is the breakdown after the verse. It's made up of three chords, the first of which is an F-sharp minor chord. 
So you're gonna bar the second fret with your pointer finger, you're gonna place your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string and your pinky finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Next is an E major chord, which we already learned. Then a D major chord, so you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second fret of the G string, your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and your middle finger on the second fret of the high E string. And all put together, it sounds like this. Now really quick, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing there, I'm strumming the F sharp minor chord once, then the E major chord once, then the D major chord once, then back to the E major chord, and I'm doing the uh, same finger picking pattern that we did for the E major chord the last couple of times. And that's it for Illicit Affairs. Uh, like I mentioned, if this video helped you, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And subscribe for more lessons from this album. Thanks.